feature of setting up the PV charge controller of SPC 7120 series. Uh, make sure you don't have any reverse polarity, so you should use red as a positive terminal and black as a negative terminal. And make sure your thickness of the wire is good enough for operation and is all inserted in so you, you could tighten it without any bare wires to be seen. Take a look at, at, at the bulk charge. It's currently charging the battery. It shows the voltage of the battery and it shows the voltage of the PV panel and with the charging current. To adjust the PV charge controller setting, open the lead on the left side of the charge controller. You should see two tech switches and three dip switches. One, two, three, with on position as a down downward side. To change your PV charge controller setting, first you need to disconnect the negative terminal of your battery. Then press reset and then connect back the negative terminal. Then release your reset button. You should now see the float voltage of 13.3 volts. This is the previous setting of this PV charge controller. Press reset to show the next step of LVD which is the low voltage disconnect. Press reset again then you have the LVR which is the low voltage reconnect. Press reset again then you have the night light option which is now 8 hours on. Press reset again. This is now the bulk voltage. Press reset again and you go back to float voltage. To change the parameters, you have, you have to open the lid on the left side of the panel. Now you could see two tag switches and three dip switches. Make sure dip switches are at this position, the upward position. This is the off position. To increase the voltage, you have to press the first tag switch. Now it shows 13.4. To decrease the voltage, you should press the second tag switch. After four times, you should get 13.0 voltage. Then press reset 
to set LVD, we will use 11.5 volts for this example. Then LVR, we will use 12.8 for this example. So you press the upper tax switch twice. Then press reset again. This is the night light option. We will use 8 hours for this example. Then press reset again. Now you have the bulk voltage. We will use 14.4 volts for this example too. To confirm these settings, you need to have dip switch 2 to be at on position. To do this, you should use a screwdriver to press switch downward. And now the PV charge controller shows it's running normal operation. Notice that even if you reconnect or disconnect the battery, the settings has been stored to the PV charge controller. So you don't have to reset these parameters again after you disconnect your battery. To verify your night light mode option, take a look at the left panel again. You should set your dip switch 1 to be at on position. Then press reset to see how many flashes they have. Now you just saw 4 flashes, which means that your 8 hours on option has been activated. The temperature sensor is located next to the reset button, so you should use a screwdriver. To plug it, to plug the temperature sensor in. To replace the fuse, you should remove the cover of this charge controller. After removing the case as shown, you can see the fuse is at this part. 